What is going on you guys, this is TechHD coming at you with a brand new how-to video and in this how-to video what I'm going to be showing you guys is how to record your screen using a NVIDIA graphics card. Now basically it, it should be available for everybody's graphics card but what I'm talking about is the GeForce Experience. So basically what I'm talking about is this bad boy right here, this GeForce Experience. Now the system requirements shouldn't be that crazy. So this is only available for if you have an NVIDIA graphics card so sorry AMD guys but NVIDIA rules over this so basically uh, a GeForce experience is you can do a couple of things with this and the main thing that I'm talking about is the sharing feature now the requirements aren't that much as long as you have a GeForce GTX uh, 600 series or up for a desktop or for a notebook you have a 660 uh, 670 675 680 700 series and up basically you have 4 gigabyte of system RAM or higher you have Windows 7 Windows 8 or Windows 10 and you have the latest driver so basically for me I have the GeForce GTX 960 so that works well I have an Intel Core i7 4790k CPU I have 16 gigabytes of RAM and I'm using my uh, BenQ monitor the 1920 by 1080 60 Hertz so that is good and if you have two monitors that you use for your PC all you have to do if you want to record one screen all you have to do is just go to the display settings by just right clicking and then you set that as the main display when you want to uh, record just that screen because it can't record both of them of course so what I'm talking about let's open this up is the sharing so you can record and share greatest gaming moments basically you have instant replay and record just pull uh, just pulled off an amazing stunt using the automatic instant replay to record up to the last 20 minutes hit a hockey to save you this so it's just like the Xbox where you basically say Xbox record that or just like the PS4 same thing you could screenshot anything and you could capture up to 4k uh, 4k video so that is honestly insane so let's let's just try this out so the default is alt Z as it as it says right here so if we were to just hold alt Z you could say you could see that it opens this up so you could instant replay you could record and you could even stream so that is honestly insane so if we go to the settings over here you can see that you can connect to your Facebook your Google account I forgot what this is your twitch and your YouTube so you could stream on twitch and YouTube if you want even Facebook so that is honestly insane you have a HUD layout so you could show your camera if you have a camera hooked up to the top right you can make it bigger or smaller the size of the camera we're gonna turn that off uh, status indicator if all the recording is good or if the streaming is good you have your FPS count if it's going 60 30 stuff like that you can show how many viewers are watching you uh, if you're streaming you also have keyboard shortcuts so if you want to just make it easier for yourself to capture a clip or something like that uh, recordings you could have it saved anywhere you want uh, what else do we have broadcast same thing any of the folders that you want and where your server is for me it's in New York and when you want to record also your gallery as well and when you want to start recording what you go to is your privacy control and you set it to yes turn on desktop capture for instant replay record broadcast and screenshot so if you guys are having issues it says that it's not letting me record you go here and you click yes so we're just gonna go all the way back and then if you go to record if you press it you go to customize you can see that there's multiple options so you have low quality medium quality if your graphics card or your CPU your computer uh, can't like record at the highest quality possible so you have these uh, settings as well and you can even mess around with them I just like to go to the custom and you can see that the highest resolution is 4k so if we click 4k and we have the highest frame rate which is 60 FPS and then the bit rate is even at 50 megabits per second but you could go all the way to 130 and I definitely don't recommend like if you have a 1080p uh, display and you want to record in 4k it won't really work like that because i tried it and it didn't really work like that it was still like 1080p wise so i would just go to the screen that you usually that you have it just set so for me it's 1080p i'll record at 60 frames per second and at and at 50 megabits per second and that seems about good you just want to save that you go back same thing when you broadcast same thing quality so for twitch it is now three megabits per second and up to six megabits per second so we'll just go to 1080p 60 frames per second 
and 6 megabits per second on Twitch. On YouTube, it's a little bit different. I think it's up to 12 megabits a second, uh, 60 frames per second, 1080p. So we'll just go to 12. And for Facebook, I have no idea. So you could do that as well. And you can even add your voice if you want to record your voice. And you could add a camera if you want to do that as well. So same thing. You see the volume of the microphone that I'm currently using. And then the camera, I can set it on, but I'm currently using that right now. So if we were to just record, I'm going to hit record and then it, it should say a notification recording has started. So now whatever you do is being recorded unless until you hit stop recording. So anything that you're doing, everything seems smooth, nothing really um, bad with this. It, it includes a GPU accelerated H.264 video encoder. So that is the best possible type of uh, quality. So you're getting the best quality and it's absolutely free for those of you guys that have an NVIDIA graphics card. So that is honestly amazing. You can start streaming PC games. You could record if you have a YouTube channel. You could start recording whatever you want to show you, uh, your people. Uh, you can start streaming PC games like I said before. Like the possibilities are endless with this so you don't have you don't need to get bandicam you don't need to have a capture card if you want to start recording anything like that so that's why i really like this feature the geforce experience is honestly amazing so if we were to stop recording we just do alt z and then stop and save so now it stops so now if we go to where it saved it it makes its own folder desktop and if we were to play it back everything is pretty smooth and there's no like buffering there's no issues everything is nice and smooth especially when you're gaming and that's the main thing so you could keep an eye on how your frame rates are you can see how many people are viewing you you can see um, your camera anything like that you can implement everything that you need to start streaming to start making videos and that's why I really like the GeForce experience and what it provides for you guys so let us know down in the comments below on what you guys think about this are you currently using the GeForce experience or are you using a capture card or using something else like Bandicam or anything else like that and if you do have a Nvidia graphics card I definitely recommend this try it out let me know what you guys think about it if it's better than anything else that you have tried or if you just think that a regular capture card is better let me know down in the comments below I hope you guys enjoyed the video and just to let you guys know I'm recording this using my Elgato HD 60 I'm recording the screen right now using that because I just prefer that over this um, main reason why is because I like to do everything separate record this record myself separate record the audio separate I'll get into that in another video but there you guys have it I hope you guys enjoyed the video please like comment subscribe follow me on Facebook Twitter YouTube Instagram and Twitch as always is Tech HD I'll catch you guys in the next video peace